Hey guys, I'm back again with your favorite economics channel that is economics at a glance. So guys, today we will discuss some mock test series of just uh, recently recovered the topics like uh, the market topic, different types of market and cost concepts. So let's get started guys. Okay, before moving to the video, let me tell you don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. So first question. That is, when does the consumer face a horizontal demand curve? See, all of you know that I have already discussed horizontal demand curve. That means it is a perfectly elastic demand curve where the demand is equals to average revenue equals to marginal revenue equals to price. And that is only occurred in the case of perfect competitive market. So here is your answer. Second question says that price discrimination is seen in dash market situation. Well, this is very easy. We all know that price discrimination is a unique feature of monopoly market situation. Well, I have discussed what is price discrimination, different types of discrimination. If you have not seen that video, you can easily access through the link described in my description box. Okay. Okay. So the third question the sales of technically similar products at prices which are not proportional to the marginal cost and even lesser than that refers to what? That is dumping. I have told you dumping that means selling your product even lesser than your original cost in the foreign markets. Why? Just to attract the customers. But it is illegal. Okay. Fourth question. In which market the distinction between the farm and industry will disappear? That means there is no difference between the farm and industry. Well, it can be possible in only one market. That is perfect competitive market. Okay. Moving to the next question. That is fifth one. In a monopoly market situation, the farm is okay between the diamonds, soft drink, athletic shoes, waterboard or job board. Okay, the answer will be definitely waterboard because it is the sole person who can provide and who can regulate the water circulation. Okay, so next, uh, if a monopolist sells the same commodity, same commodity at different prices to different customers, obviously that will be price discrimination and price discrimination is the unique feature of which market monopoly market right okay coming to the seventh number question in perfect competition the shape of demand curve is dash just i have discussed this in a perfect competition the demand curve is perfectly elastic that means parallel to x-axis clear and in next question says in perfect competitive market which of the following will be true? See, I have just discussed that. Your average revenue will be equals to marginal revenue will be equals to price and that is what demand curve is. So answer here is option one. So ninth question says that an industry with a large number of farms, differentiated products, and free entry and exit. See, large number of farms and free entry exit, it is the characteristic of perfect competitive market. But apart from that, another characteristic is differentiated product. That means obviously it will be monopolistic market because I have told you it is a combination of perfect market and monopoly market, right? So next question that is 10. Which of the following good is the best example of natural monopoly? I have discussed this example natural gas okay 11 number question a monopoly is a market with among those options no barrier to entry many substitutes many suppliers and one supplier yes the answer is right that is one supplier then which of the following market types has only a few competing farms? See, few farms. I have told you when this word few competing farms, obviously the market will be oligopoly market, right? Moving to the next question. That is question number 13. Which barrier to entry is an exclusive right granted to the author or composer of a literary, musical, dramatic and artistic work? Well, I have discussed this. This barrier to entry is called copyright. 
okay all of you know that we have to take copyright before moving to any kind of literary musical or dramatic work okay so 14 number question is which of the following market types has all the farms selling products so identical that the buyers do not care from which farm they will buy that means the product will be very homogeneous and homogeneous product is only available in perfect competitive market right next question in a perfect competition of farm maximizes profit in short run by deciding by deciding how much output to produce see in perfect competitive market you have no control on the price but you can control the quantity so what you will decide how much output to produce okay coming to the next question if the technology for production of a good enables one farm to meet the entire market demand one farm will meet the entire market demand at a lower price than two or more farms could then the farm has a natural monopoly obviously because one one farm will control the entire market obviously it will be monopoly next question that is 17 number question in the long run a monopolistic farm can occur which kind of profit see in the recently last video i have discussed this thing like whichever market you are going for always remember regarding the profit case in long run always normal profit occurs okay so the answer will be earn a normal profit okay moving to question number 18 which of the following characterizes a perfectly competitive industry well the answer is the demand for each individual farm is perfectly elastic because we know that the demand is perfectly elastic in a perfect competitive market. Okay. So 19 number question as farms leave an industry because they are incurring an economic loss. The economic loss of each remaining farm what happens? When one farm leaves the industry then what will happen? The economic loss will decrease obviously because one farm has left the industry and apart from that the price of the product rises because when one farm will leave your competition concentration will little bit decline when competition decline you can charge your own price that means you will definitely you will increase your price that means the answer will be economic loss will decrease and the price of the product it will increase okay getting the concept moving to the next question question number 20 c the farms face competition when the good they produce is having a close substitute the more close substitutes your product have you will face more competition because even when you increase the price in one unit people will switch to the substitute right so this is the thing like whenever you are getting more substitute you will get more competition okay so 21 number question a barrier to entry is what what do you mean by a barrier to entry well the answer is anything that protects a farm from the arrival of new competitors that's so simple nothing to explain more so question number 22 in monopolistic competition each farm supplies a small part of the market why why uh, this kind of thing this occurs because there are large number of farms as there are large number of farms so each farm can occupy a very small portion of the market that's so obvious in that so next question 23 in an industry with large number of farms what can be possible collusion is impossible because collusion is the unit feature of oligopoly market and we know that in oligopoly market there are few markets that is why collusion is possible we cannot say that there is a collusion among hundred and thousands of industry or hundred and thousand of farms that is why when there are large number of farms collusion is not possible okay so next question 24th number question which of the following is different about perfect competition and monopolistic competition well the answer is the farm and monopolistic competition compete on their products price as well as its quality and marketing which is not seen in case of perfect competitive market okay getting the concept the last question is which of the following is an example of monopolistically competitive industry 
well the answer is college and universities yes it is the example we can take for monopolistically competitive industry so with this our the first part of mock test series got over very soon i will come with my next mock test series that is similarly on this market and cost concept till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you